Welcome back to the channel, guys. What are we going to be talking about today? Today, we're going to talk about one of the most misunderstood aspects of LiveScope, and that is the beam. Many people believe that the beam is different when you're in forward mode, down mode, or perspective mode, and that is simply untrue. The beam never changes, and I have made a crude beam representation. The beam will always be 135 degrees. I know this is not to scale, but it will give you a good representation. That is 135 degrees. Side to side, and let me turn it there. Side to side, we're gonna call that our 20 degree beam. Maybe I'll get it better like that. We're gonna call that our 20 degree beam. I told you it's not to scale, but it will work. So side to side, this is 20 degrees width, 135 degrees front to back. Now, the only thing that changes when you uh, switch to forward mode, down mode, or perspective mode is the angle of the transducer, transducer or the orientation. The beam comes out of the transducer, if you have it flat, just like this. That is down mode. When you want forward mode, you simply tilt the transducer back, the beam, the beam goes with it. Now understand this is not to scale, so this actually probably less than 135 degrees, but you understand what we're talking about. So as you tilt it forward, okay, the transducer backwards, the beam tilts upwards, and that's what you get your forward mode. See, nothing has changed. Down mode, and the beam and the transducer are changing with it. Now, as you notice, that's where your 20 degree uh, beam width come into play. Now, why is that important? Because the further you get out from the beam, the wider the beam gets. Also, the deeper you get, no matter if you're in front of the boat or straight down, the wider the beam gets. Now, Let's speak of perspective mode. This is very important in perspective mode. All you do in perspective mode is simply turn the transducer sideways and you see right there, I'm gonna hold this right here. The transducer is sideways. The beam never changed. It's still, all we're doing is tilting it up. Now, this is why I always talk about how important angle of the transducer is on perspective mode. Garmin's points down like that. I'm gonna to try to do best I can. Garmin's points down like that. So I want you to understand something and I'll see if I can hold it up my leg. It's pointing down. So you're missing all of this area up here. So sometimes when somebody says, man, I can't see my bait in perspective mode, or I only see it when it gets close to the boat. We well, see you didn't hit the beam until you got right back here. Or a lot of times, You'll throw it out and you'll see it really strong and then it comes under the beam as it gets closer to the boat, so it drops out of the beam. Now me, I like a higher beam angle, like almost flat like that. And what that does is it keeps your bait in the zone when I'm trying to use it um, longer and you can see more things. But one thing it will do I want to see more things like trees, brush tops, and things like that because they're up off the bottom. One thing it will do is it darkens the bottom because you're not getting a lot of bottom. Garmin's angle shoots down to the bottom. That way you can see lots of structure, and that's okay sometimes, like if you're trying to see drainage ditches and things like that. But when you're fishing cover or around trees or around flooded brush, you want it higher in the water angle. That way the bottom is darker because there's no return. And then secondly, you're, you'll be picking up the brush piles, which are up off the bottom most likely, and the stumps, which poke up off the bottom, and things like that. So, as we've seen, we've learned a lot today in a very short amount of time. The beam never changes, just the orientation of the transducer. Now, um, that's why when I talk about it in my videos, that uh, there's so many things that you that 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 learning about uh, live scope. The more you learn, the more you'll understand it, and the more you can learn to experiment with it. Um, forward mode and down mode, you know, 
those are pretty standard positions, but perspective mode, there is a wide array of different angles that you can choose. Now you can't have that with the Garmin transducer. It's stuck in a stationary position, but the Summit Outdoors or Summit Fishing Equipment one, uh, and there are some other ones that are great, great transducers. The Summit Fishing Equipment one allows infinite adjustability infinite adjustability so you can change your your angle depending on what you're doing for example fishing a big glide bait or a big swim bait high in the water column you want to aim it up higher if you're fishing a buzz bait you or a frog you can actually aim it up where it's pair the top part of the beam is hitting and intersecting the top of the water you can see your buzz bait your frog and the splash coming back but you'll see beneath the water, see those fish trailing. Great for top waters over points, sandbars, and things like that. That's excellent. Now, if I'm looking for drainage ditches, I will angle it lower. So understanding that the beam is not that wide in perspective mode will allow you to, to use your uh, imagination and to use it to the most effective way. And that's where Garmin's mount really lacks. And that's where like the Summit Fishing Equipment Perspective Mode mount comes in fantastic. Um, I think they're like $49, maybe $54 now after a little um, rise from our great president. Um, the, uh, you know, so they're not that expensive. They're really durable, lifetime guarantee. I know he's been a little bit behind lately. Um, I had messaged him the other day about something and he's, all his people have been out sick with the flu, so he's by himself. Um, but I know, uh, that's a great product. I think Fish Obsessed makes a great, I think Fish Obsessed makes a good product. There's Spy Point 3D makes another product. That's not the only one. It's just the one that I use and that I've grown to. I literally bought it the first day I bought LiveScope. So we've learned a lot today. And, uh, but before we go, I want to bring attention to a few things. Um, the, the website will officially go live everything on January the 1st. We're going to have a big blowout, do some giveaways, things like that. But today, um, and I'm going to have to turn the video off and actually go back through the comments and just film a little out section. Somebody today is going to win uh, five, six inch hand poured baits. Um, you choose the color, except the, except I'm not going to pour the uh, boss brim or the bluegill color because those take such an intricate amount of time, but you can choose any of the other baits. Uh, I'm gonna make them single laminates. The, the Sexy Shad takes a long time to pour those two, so. But five of the any other colors, and I got like seven, eight, nine colors there. Um, you can choose five of those for free, or you can choose a shirt, or one of the new Garmin Guru hats, which are available. All of this is available on the website, thegarminguru.com. Um, and I do have some stuff up there for purchase. Um, for example, you can go in there and get a scully, but there's like 10, 12 different colors. You can go in there and get a shirt. It's like 10 different colors. Um, hats, and uh, one of my favorite hats that I actually just came up with last night. It just simply says Live Scope. Got the big double G on the side. Awesome hat. Um, I've got one on the way for myself, um, but those are available on there. You don't have to buy it, but I wish you would get on there and take a look, especially take a look at the, the uh, swim baits. And uh, I want to bring uh, attention to, let me see if I got one over there. I got a bull brim, I sure do. And I've got, there's the two. Here's the bluegill, beautiful, uh, beautiful bait. And this is the boss brim right here. Uh, so instead of a bull brim, call it boss brim because my, uh, my little girl thinks she's the boss. So I named it after her. It's got more of a greenish with a purple tint top. This one is a purple with a green uh, color shift in it. Both of them beautiful. Both of them work great. But guys, uh, thanks for watching. Watch the little segment at the end. Somebody's going to win one of their choices of those three things. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell. Okay, guys, I looked back through there. Um, you had to do two or three things that we talked about in the post. Chris Purvis, I believe that's your name. I want you to inbox me or email me at thegarmanguru the at gmail.com or inbox me through Facebook Messenger or something like that, and we'll get together and get you something out. How cool is that? Hey, did Gigi give it back because y'all have done so much for me, and I'm in the Christmas spirit. I'm giving away, you know, we're going to have a great giveaway at the beginning of the year, but 
I just wanted to thank y'all again. And uh, we got two or three more videos and then I'm gonna take about a week break and then we're gonna come back strong at the beginning of the year, starting with our kickoff show for the website and things like that. So if you need anything, hats, shirts, they got hoodies, we've got, we've got jackets. Uh, what, what all we got over there? Beanies. Um, we've got the swim baits on there. We've got, uh, the rods will be on there soon. I mean, it, it's, it's getting big and it's going to continue to grow, but here's the thing. Could not do it without each and every one of you. I'm pointing to whoever's watching this video because you guys made it happen. And of course, I want to thank my wife, my kids, and I want to thank somebody that doesn't get thought about a lot. My mother-in-law, um, she is amazing. Um, so many times she watches the babies where I can go fishing. So many times she'll watch them where I can run down there for an hour and film a video. And uh, because my wife will be working and things like that, she does so much for us. She needs to be thanked. And I've never done this on the video, so I'm thanking her. Thank you, honey. You're the best. Guys, thanks for watching again. Say this twice. Ring the bell.